Okay, hey you guys, so we are back with another video and today we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're just gonna be trying a leave-in. That's it, that's why I have this on my head because I've already washed my hair, basically I am deep conditioning now which I'm going to wash it out and we're gonna try to leave-in. We're gonna be trying this leave-in. Where'd this come from? Where'd this come from? Shea Moisture? This is Shea Moisture's, I guess, new line. Um, and it is the Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil Lush Length Light Leave-In. Now, I know y'all are probably saying, oh, there we go with the light again. Uh, is this for us? I don't know. I don't care. You guys know I just want to try it, right? You know I, you know I just want to try it. Um, and it is, it's definitely like a creamy texture. But it's a spray. So, um, it's a spray. Shout out to Curly Girl Jess because she is the one that found these products first. Showed it to me. I was like, oh, really? Tresses of Alexis. She has her YouTube channel. I'll follow her. Um, she saw it in her Walmart and then I was like, oh, let me try. I went to my Walmart. All they had was the leave-in. So apparently there is a shampoo and a conditioner. I don't know what else is in the line. Shea Moisture never promotes their own new collections. So it's kind of like you just have to find what you find. All I know is that this is their Cannabis Sativa line. And this is with ginseng root and horsetail extract. Um, you know Shea Moisture always has like their three main ingredients that are in a product. So this one is the sativa oil, which is known for containing vitamin E and omegas. Y'all know I love vitamin E. So, huh. um, ginseng root, known for its revitalizing properties. And then the horsetail extract, which is known for its mineral content. I honestly don't remember the last time that I've tried a leave-in from Shea Moisture. I think it was their Jamaican black castor oil. No, I didn't even try that leave-in. I don't know. I've actually stopped using a lot of Shea Moisture's products. And it's not because, like, their conditioners have honestly never really worked out for me. Their shampoos are definitely hit or miss. I like a lot of their shampoos. It's only, like, a little bit that I don't like. Their deep conditioners are basically my favorite. You guys also know that I love the lock and braid butter from the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line. So there's a lot of things that I do love from Shea Moisture, but there's also a lot of things that I don't like. I was intrigued. I did go to another Walmart and they didn't have anything from the line. So at first I was like, should I just review this? But then I was like, yeah, why not girl? Why not? Listen, my hair, is already like in when I insanely soft. So if this leave-in jacks me up, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be pissed. So well, this comes out like a spray spray. Like you can't even really spray this on your hands. Oh, this. like a spray spray like you cannot really like you cannot really get away with just spraying this in your hands I don't think like I feel like you have to spray this like directly on your hair like your hands get so slippery you know putting the product on it's like it's a struggle but yo I'm actually a little shocked This is where I'm struggling because it's like I want to spread directly on my hands, but like, 
My hands are so slippery because they're wet. So it's like the bottle is like falling out of my hands. Ugh! That's the only, I think, bad part about this. Okay, so let me see if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So like, like you know how like your hands are so slippery by the time you're using your leave-in? And it's like, like I'm holding on for, for life for this not to slip out of my hands. And it's so hard because it works. Like if you see it like how it's spraying out, like it's a... Like it's a spray spray. It's not like one of those sprays that kind of still spray straight. Like no, this is spraying like evenly. So it's a spray spray. So when you spray it in your hands, you don't really get that much. But when you spray it in your hair, like it sprays so evenly. But the bottle is so slippery. So it's like, what do you do? Okay, you guys, so I decided to put my twist up <laughs> while I'm talking about this product so you're not distracted by my twist being all over the place. But anyway, I'm shocked. I really like this. But who is this for? This is for somebody like me. <laughs> okay, so you use your deep conditioner, you use a leave-in, you, leave, you use the oil, you use a cream, and sometimes I feel like your hair is just so heavily saturated everybody doesn't need that i feel like i'm one of those people because i feel like i end up with so much product on my hair i want to say that it's pointless but it just doesn't work out for me so i feel like this leave-in is for somebody like me somebody that wants a light leave-in but i still want it to be moisturizing i still want my hair to be saturated but i don't need it to be overly saturated now, this is probably not for every single hairstyle. So, like, if you're doing a wash and go, you may want a heavier leave-in to pair with your gel that you're using. But if you're just doing the old regular, regular, smegular hairstyle, especially, like, braid-outs, twist-outs, something like that, where you necessarily don't need, like, a heavy leave-in, I would highly recommend this. And, yes, I'm shocked. Yes. I like it. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I thought I was gonna come on here and be like, Shay boy, Shay, where y'all do it? Where y'all do it? But no, I really like this. Like, I'm asked before Xavier gets in my comments. I do like it. Again, I picked this up from Walmart and it was, funny thing is, in Walmart, it didn't even have like a place for it. Like, they just had it on the shelf so there was no price I, it was a surprise to me when i got to the counter and i was like if this is 17.99 sis it was only nine which one was it uh, why does it say can oh cannabis i'm like can to it's not can to this was 9.97 at walmart i don't know how much the shampoo and the conditioner is i don't know if the line offers anything else this is all that my walmart had um i know that tresses of alexis i think she has a conditioner so look out for that review hopefully she get it up soon for y'all so y'all know if it's getting up that's it you guys i like this the only downside to this like i already said in the video is that it comes out like a like a sh like a spray spray a little hard to work with but because i like it so much 
normally when people tell me to put it in another bottle, I'm like, sis, I don't have time for that. But no, I'm definitely going to do it because I like this. I, I was I was ready to be like, Shea Moisture, what the? But no, I like it. I like it. Ugh. So yeah, you guys, that is my review on the new cannabis Shea Moisture line. Hopefully, Shea Moisture puts it on their website or at least on their Instagram soon so we know where to get it, what's included in the line, and all of that jazz. I really don't understand why they do this they've been doing it for years like they wait for people to find their products in the store and then post it on instagram or facebook but we need to know like we need to know what's included in the line the prices of the line who is the line geared towards like we need more information instead of like we just trying to figure it out ourselves I mean, I guess that's just a thing. But anyway, you guys, I like this. I probably won't be trying the shampoo and the conditioner. So don't even wait. I know as soon as the girls find it, there will be a million reviews. So I'm sorry that I will not be reviewing that. Um, but yeah, I love. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all soon. Bye.